so excited because I am finally about to begin with my very first book for the month of January 2022 and that is Small Spaces by Catherine Arden. It's so cold right now in the Philippines. Truly the closest thing we'll ever have to winter. So I'm just so happy that I could lie down, bundle up under the sheets and spend the entire New Year weekend reading a good book. I hope it's a good book. Small Spaces is a middle grade horror novel. So this really sounds like something perfect to read when it's cold and if you want something cozy, I guess. Really feeling good about this one. I'm truly gonna sound like a broken record but it's so cold right now in the Philippines and I'm not saying that just because as a tropical country that's one of the several luxuries that we could enjoy like once a year but I keep on commenting about the cold because somehow it sets the perfect atmosphere for this book. So I am 52 pages in on Small Spaces and so far I'm liking it because it feels like I am getting what I came here for. This is presented as middle grade horror and yes, I agree. The narration style definitely fits uh, something that is considered middle grade and horror, am I scared? No, not really, but as early as now, there were already sinister elements presented, which is not really scary, but something unsettling and mysterious. So, I definitely think that if I have read this at a younger age, yes, uh, I might be terrified, but as old as I am right now... No. I won't really take it against the book anyways because I'm not really typically a person who's easily scared. I don't even get scared uh, when it comes to horror movies. I think it would really take a lot to scare me or surprise me. That's why I really only have a handful of books really that I consider scary right now. So far, my favorite thing about this book right now is that the plot is moving on a very fast-paced, but somehow it has retained its cozy atmosphere. So that's why I kept on commenting that this book somehow seems like a really perfect read for whenever the weather is cold. I don't know if you understand. There's a story within a story that we follow along with the uh, the protagonists and I don't know, it's just sort of funny because the layers are being revealed to us as she goes along and leaves through the uh, the pages of the, uh, the book that she's reading and she's encountering all sorts of, I don't know, disturbances and interruptions by several people and since we're reading it along with her we also feel very eager and excited to move on and find out what happens next i don't know that's clever i think so one of the uh, the blurbs uh, at the back of this book 
uh, by J.A. White, the author of Night Books. He says, The perfect book to be read by firelight during a chilly autumn evening. Though you might find yourself inching closer to the light as the story nears its terrifying conclusion. See? What did I tell you? It's definitely a perfect read <laughs> when it's cold. I'm confident that I'm gonna be finishing this uh, within this weekend. But first, I'm gonna go downstairs and get myself a cup of coffee. Because it's really so cold. And a cup of coffee would be perfect uh, for me to better enjoy this read, so... I'm feeling very smug right now because I did claim that I'm gonna finish this over the weekend and I finished it over the weekend. Technically it's 9 a.m. right now on a Monday but I spent Saturday and Sunday nights reading this book and I managed to complete it. Small Spaces is definitely a page turner. There was never a point where I felt like it dragged or anything. And the story just really progressed on a steady, nice pace. Also, I think the uh, the length is just perfect. The number of pages is just about right. I didn't feel like it was unnecessarily prolonged, nor did I feel like uh, it was cut short or anything like that. I know this is uh, gonna be a series, but as a standalone, I think this is still really a good book. This really isn't something that I would specifically call exceptional or groundbreaking. Rather, I would think of this as a satisfying read because it delivered what it has promised, which is a good middle grade horror story. Will it give me nightmares? No. I feel like more than this supernatural aspect, uh, I find the psychological elements of this book more unsettling or creepier because even though this is, isn't really something that would make me stay up all night or give me nightmares when I think of what happened in the middle of the book and how it progressed all the way towards the end right after that thing happened if you know what happened with the school bus you know that is something I don't ever want to happen in my life, like, ever. I don't want to be in that situation, no. Just one tiny thing that bothered me uh, somewhere around the beginning uh, of the, uh, the story and then all the way towards the middle was how 
some of the personalities of the other uh, characters can really border on annoying or almost intentionally cliche but eventually uh, as you go on uh, you would definitely understand that indeed the writer wrote them for exactly that purpose because as you go on deeper uh, into the plot not only does the layers of the mystery become unraveled before you you also witness some sort of um, deconstruction of these characters stereotypes so it was really something that made the ending uh, really special because it made you understand that it wasn't really a character development they have always been that way you only just need to look a little closer because there's more than what meets the eye so is Arlstein correct when he said that this book is terrifying and fun? Terrifying, maybe not as much as you're expecting, but fun, yes, definitely. What a very cozy read, what a very cozy way to start 2022. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video.